Hello Libra, I'm Susie from The Gift Hero 2 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of May, 14th of April, 14th of March. Angel Spirit Guides, here we go. I thought we should like read this now. I read this now about the week of the 14th of March from Libra to me. The week of the 14th for Libra. Angel Spirit Guides, here we go. I thought we should like Libra to know about the week of the 14th of March. What is the week of the 14th of March for Libra? Libra. Week of the 14th of Libra, please. Thank you if you've liked, shared, or subscribed. If you haven't, please subscribe. I'd like a thousand at least. <laughs> um, and for all the people that follow me that's and subscribe, that's really, I'm really appreciative of that. Angel Spirit Guides Universe. If you'd like a reading with me, just email me the gift 202 cs at gmail.com. Angel Spirit Guides Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra for the week of the 14th of March, please. Libra for the week of the 14th of March. Libra for the week of the 14th of March. Libra for the week of the 14th of March. Two more cards, please, for Libra, please. Angel Spirit, card you up. It's a bit too many. It's way too many. Angel Spirit, card you up. Give us two more cards for Libra, please, for the week of the... Okay. Okay, Libra, we have on the bottom of the deck, oh, we've got the Nine of Swords. Don't let things overwhelm you this this week to the point of, like, you make stories up in your head about something that you don't have enough information about. Uh, or you're just, it's lack of sleep. Okay, so don't self-sabotage something just because you think something. You don't have enough information. I can see the moon here as well. So you have to wait the month of the moon. To get clarity on it, the first card is a nine of wands with the temperance. So something could have happened very recently when just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, the storm blows up and you can't get to your destination or you can't get to your passions or other people's dramas get in the way. Um, so you have to be patient. You have, you're in this point of being patient, maybe waiting for September or waiting the month of the moon because if you don't have enough clarity, there's secrets exposed. Um, we, we could be dealing with a Sagittarius. There's something of an esoteric nature and it's alchemizing. It's the gold into the silver coming down and making something real. She's got a toe in the water, but the temperature's not quite right. So she has to rely on being patient and waiting for this thing to come into fruition. Um, and again, with the moon, you're too confused. You, you, the, the information you've got or... You're going to have to meditate and isolate yourself um, because whatever's happened here, it's been very confusing. Um, as you can see in this card, she's old woman, young woman, middle-aged, even the dog's confused. It's a strong cancer card, so it might be something happens under the full moon and you have to wait till the new moon or the next full moon till you get absolute truth out of it. Um, it can mean being very fertile as well. If you're trying for a baby, I would try now. <laughs> or you might have just found out that you're pregnant. That's what the confusion is. So you're having to sit on your own and isolate yourself. Maybe someone's not talking to you. Um, there is a message coming in, uh, or it, you, you decide after this meditation, this little like day out or two days out um, this week, that you want to jump into the unknown. You just want to go somewhere. You want to take your passions, your creative ideas, and just go towards this hope and wish. Now, there's some message, a hope and wish message is coming for you. And it could be to do with a house. Um, I'm seeing that there's a divine union or love here. There's a family home. It's the wish card. It's like they're both number 10, so it's double 10, um, and they're sort of, they're completions, the 10's at the end, and then you go back to the ace, so this is high love, this is divine love, this is family joy, this is marriage, this is the home, there's a wish coming true, someone's coming to your home, or someone's messaging you, and they they want this nice home with you, um, or you're, you're about to get this upgrade of a offer it 
could be within the family, it could be a family business. Um, you're responsible here. There's a three of pentacles. So someone's offering you an a, a upgrade, a step up this ladder. Um, but for some reason, this causes you a burden and you don't want it. You don't want this. Either it's a new, it's a offer of love or it's an offer of a job. Um, and it's not quite the offer you wanted. Uh, so you, it, it goes to the five where you think, right, okay, maybe you have to take it because you've got some bills to pay. Um, it confuses you. Whatever this offer is, it confuses you. So it's like a job offer, but it's not enough money. So you have to either do two jobs or you start working on yourself. It's like um, if this person's offering that happy family, why why do you still feel burdened by your passions? Why can't you see that house on the hill? Are you paying too much money? Have you got the? Are you still with the crux of the the paying the bills for this person? It's all right them wanting this love and this divine union, but are you? It's like this job's not enough to pay for everything, or you feel left out of love. I can't see this. This is this is family, so it's like maybe you have to work for the family, but it's a burden to be to work for the family. It's like you can't get away from it. You can't get away from this family business or these people or the fact that you owe this money. So you have to maybe take another job on or self-employment, and that's it's just worrying you that you've got to pay these bills and that you're doing all the work. There is a hopeful wish coming true. You've got to be patient. It's slowly, slowly. Three of pentacles, five of pentacles, eight of pentacles. There's something that you're working on that will bear fruit. It feels like a, just don't take on other people's dramas or burdens. The seven, you've got to concentrate on this work because it's too much. It's a rod. For, you're making a rod for your own back. You might be working towards this home, this new wedding, this new family. Um, and you can't see the hearts in it. You can't you can't see the uh, your passions, your creative ideas, you can't see it coming to fruition. It is coming to fruition. You've just got to keep going and try not try to get more sleep. Try not to be so um overwhelmed. It could be that there's a baby coming and you've got to work harder to get this money for this baby. Um I don't know, but I did see this Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. So let's ask the Romance Angels. What you'd like Libra to know? Just keep going, because the money will come in at the end of this week. It's got, you've got to work on yourself. You've got healing family issues. So there's always something to do with the family. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. There's lots about being patient. Things are slowly coming in. And they have to, it, but it, there's, a, there's work. See, the three of pentacles, he could easily fall off those little steps there. So he's only two rungs up the ladder, but you will get quickly up the ladder if you pay off Peter to pay Paul quickly. So just pay some stuff off um, and then you'll be freed up to do your own thing. Angel, spirit cats, maybe you have someone in the family now. Angel, spirit cats, what would you like? Libra to know, but there is this hopeful wish coming true. It's just, it's, you need to... Get ready for it. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like? Libra. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like? See, someone is a divine love. It's hopeful, wish this hopeful, for happy family. They want it. It's just, it, it's, there's a worry with it. It could be that there's um, children. I was just to say kids involved. Look, children involved because this page of wands here. Maybe there's some kind of fertility about mothering, about kids. Uh, maybe the kids have got, you know, got um, my friend's child just swallowed five peas. So something like that that you might have to be patient with. There's some family dramas going on, but it's saying this is a true love. 
and you can heal these family issues. Maybe someone's got kids, you haven't, they've got you, vice versa. It, it, you have to melt two families together. But someone is working here. I think this is you on your coin. So that you can have this family home. Let me just one more for Libra, please. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yes, there needs to be more romance. Um, but don't allow other people's burdens to confuse and burden you. Just concentrate on what you're doing monetary-wise. Angels, spirit guides. And be patient with the mother. Be patient with the family. Be patient with the kids. We have... Your children on earth and in heaven are happy and well cared for by God and the angels. Angels, spirit guides, what would you like? Compassion, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Libra, 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 what would you like Libra to know about this week? Breathe, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. And perfect timing. Now is the mo perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. Yet yeah, there is a positive outcome. People are on your side. Express your love. Someone really wants this happy family home. Um, I think money, money problems and worries are, you know, but you, you'll make it into a, you'll overwhelm yourself. Just wait that month of that moon. There's hopeful wishes coming true. Express your love. Don't take on other people's dramas and um, have compassion. If there's, if there's something going on with kids this week. Um, so take care and I'll speak to you soon, Libra. And uh, please like, share and subscribe.